Ben, as ever, I suppose it's all about picking the right race for the, the right horses, isn't it? Yeah, hopefully, and it's getting closer and closer. Still a few options, but most of our horses now have got their intended targets firmly set, and um, we hope for an exciting week. And I suppose the first one to talk about, Le Brule, looks like he's going to go for the Ultima, um, with the hope as well that Daryl Jacob would get the ride. Yeah, I mean, we sort of decided this morning that Daryl was keen to ride him, so that's sort of put it probably as, as, as a potentially the race to go for. Um, but we, I haven't really had a chance to look at the markets yet uh, and look at what might run. And he has got the Kim Muir and the Four Miler as options as well. But um, he's in he's in very good form himself. He wasn't right after Haydock, which is his own disappointing run of the season. And um, he comes here as a, a novice with a lot of experience over fences already and an exceptional jumper, so should be able to hold his own within the handicap. And that's some testament to his ability, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, he's a lovely, he's a lovely horse, and he, he's always had plenty of ability. And it's just taken us to this season to really eke it out of him, and um, mainly just through keeping him sound and well, really. Global citizen, your champion hurdle entry. First of all, how exciting is it to have an entry in the champion hurdle? Yeah, very exciting. He's um, to have any runners in, in the Blue Ribbon events is is fabulous, but um, to have a horse like Global that we plan to plan to get to the festival in the Champion Hurdle if we possibly could, to have achieved that by you know winning races that we needed to win um, is great, and it'll be it'll be a, a fabulous day for us all, including the owners um, come the Tuesday and, and having that day out. And seems to like leading seems as well to want the fast run race I mean that's two boxes ticked isn't it yeah he'll 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 definitely be up there but hopefully something will go right old clip and we can just sit off them um, the jumping is brilliant and um, yeah if the ground is good soft he'll run, he'll run a decent race how do you rate his chances lively each way yeah very much so I think he's a live a very much a lively each way shout and if he could if he could get in the four, you'd be utterly thrilled. Kildersart won here very well on Festival Trials Day. I suppose that scuppered one plan and forced your hand for the JLT. Yeah, um, took us out the Close Brothers, which was a shame. But um, he is a, a fast, improving horse. He seems in very, very good order at home. Uh, and the JLT looks, looks a, a race which he could be very competitive in. So I'm not overly disappointed now looking at the JLT that you know, we are out of that close brothers bracket because quite often the handicaps could be a bit rougher. And the way that he is improving for a novice chaser, that must just give you great confidence. It does, and he, he's improving all the time, and I think he could be very competitive. Bright forecast. Um, looks like he's going to go for the Ballymore, which is, of course, the race that you won with Willoughby Court. So you know how to win that. Um, and another one where actually getting the right jockey could be important. Yeah, very much so. Um, Nico, hopefully, will be able to ride him. Um, he'll be very much suited by the step up to two and a half miles. He's been running at two all season, and he'll definitely step improve for the step up. He's he's a he's a very accurate jumper, and um, I'd like to think he he will hopefully run a big race. It seems like the owners have taken a little bit of persuading, though. They they would never want to rush a horse before they were ready, but I think you know this will probably be his last run of the season, and it'll be nice to come here with a with a horse that's got the ability to perform well. One horse we haven't mentioned yet, Nado Tack. Um, I suppose it needs conditions to be right for him to go in the Albert Bartlett. Yeah, he's um, he's he's a very nice horse and he'll gallop all day. He's well suited by the um, Albert Bartlett. Uh, but it's whether he'll handle the undulations of this track. Um, if the ground was getting quicker as the week went on, I possibly might look towards it. Um, but otherwise, he'd probably be safe for entry. But he's a he's a horse with a big engine, and, and he'll be winning plenty of races. You've had one festival winner. What would it mean to have a second? It means everything. Once you've tasted success at the absolute top, you you don't want to don't want to leave it. And um, yeah, it's 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 it is the pinnacle of our of our industry, and winners here count for a lot.